Hey. So y'all done requested it, so I'm done gonna tell it. Um. So what's up, y'all? It's your girl Keisha K. Yes, I have my middle finger and my pinky, and I have my pinky and my ring finger nails on. Ignore that. <clears throat> yes, I look like a little frat boy today. Yes, I got some. I got some weaves. All right. Okay. What's up? It's Keisha K. How y'all doing? It's Sunday. Um, rest in peace to all the people that died in the Oklahoma City Memorial bombing 25 years ago. And I'm not saying that as a joke. I mean that, like, honestly, I'm just trying to get to the story. The story about when I was a 10 year old and a racist lady at Barnes and Nobles, how she treated me, how she physically harmed a child. But keep watching. So to give a little background, I used to love reading. Um, I used to love books. I used to love just reading it and fantasy and knowledge and all that type of stuff, okay? I used to get Barnes & Noble gift cards for my birthday when I was all the time, Christmas, family from family members, my parents, etc. So my mom was like, oh, let's go use your gift card. And I was like, all right, bet. Went to Barnes & Nobles and, you know, we went in and looked around. I don't even know what I was looking for. Like, I'm 22. This was 12 years ago, I think. <clears throat> so... You know, we done did our little shopping or whatever. And so if you guys have ever been at Barnes and Nobles, they have two sets of doors. So me and her were at the front um, of the doors ready to leave. So, but I had stopped to look at some books or whatever. So I'm, I'm over here looking at some books like, ooh, um, I like some Judy B. Jones, you know, whatever. My mom is going this way to leave, so she goes through the first set of double doors. And keep in mind, these doors are very heavy. They're the type of doors where if you let go, like if you open it and just let go, it's going to slam. Like these doors are heavy, them, them good old quality dungeon doors, you know? So my mom had gone through the first set of doors. And then she started to go through the second set of doors and I was like, ooh, let me go catch up with my mama because she gonna leave me because I have a black mother. Y'all black, y'all ethnic people know how our mamas is and be and do. And I was like, oh snaps. So I go through the first set of doors. And so there's this older white lady trying to come in <clears throat> while I'm trying to go out through the second set of double doors to go outside into the parking lot. Um. I all I remember is in my mind thinking I just need to catch up with my mom like that's all I was thinking about is catch up with my mom um and when she opened the door she opened it wide enough as in like oh you know like come through the you know when people open the door wider to let other people through too or whatever that's what I thought she was doing so I started to go she started to come in and I was starting to go out and we were like crossing paths and she still has a hold on the door and I'm going to be honest, I don't entirely remember <clears throat> how, or I guess I wasn't moving fast. I, I have no clue. All I remember is like, a th like getting like hit with something. It just felt like something hit my full 10 year old body. Like y'all, I've always been short. Like I was 10, I was a child. I was 10 years old. Um, something just hit my body and I like. And I had glasses at the time. So like, and like knocked my glasses to the side and I fixed my glasses. And it was like, the you know, the cartoons with like the stars all around. That's how I felt. <clears throat> and I was like, okay, what, what just happened? And I thought I had done something. So I just see, it's kind of blurry and I kind of see here and I'm like, oh, I'm sorry. I, what you, a girl, what you apologizing for? What are you... You did nothing. You did nothing. She was like, it's okay, sweetie. Next time you beep in words, in words with a hard E-R-S, should use your own door next time. And by the time my mom had seen her hit me with the door, she heard what she said. Uh, my mother is a very good Christian lady. Uh, she's a very good Christian lady, but my mom started just yelling at her and going off because mama don't play about her baby. Like, your race is like, what's wrong with you? Like, you just you just did this to a child, like blah, 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 going off on this lady. And this lady is just, just sitting there smiling for whatever reason. Um, <clears throat> I just remember being, still kind of being dizzy because like that was a heavy door and it hit my entire like side. Um, 
Then I remember just me and my mom kind of asking if I was okay and like checking me over. And then we talked about it in the car and then we told my dad. And it was just kind of left there, but it's still the principle of like, one, you're racist. Two, you hurt a child. Three, girl, what's your issue? Like you're mad kids are trying to catch up with their mom so they don't get left at Barnes and Nobles, like really? She rude, she rude. I don't know what else to say. Thinking about that now, that was my first like big racial encounter. The first time anybody ever spit that word at me. The first time anybody did something like that to me because of my skin tone. This beautiful brown melanin, you know, they mad, they mad. Yeah, so that's my story. Make sure y'all subscribe. Make sure y'all follow me on all my social medias, Twitter, Snapchat, Instagram. It's in the, con it's in the link below in the description box. Okay, I hope y'all having a great day, but subscribe, follow me on Twitter. Twitter folks, y'all asked, y'all received. So subscribe to my channel, more videos are coming. Um, and I hope you guys have a great day. Bye.